and welcome back. Today we have the HD, um, the HD5. This this device is just great. Um, if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you guys do consider subscribing. Leave me a comment below if you guys have tested any of this stuff. Also, um, if you guys are inter interested in this one, shoot me an email, rojasentertainment at gmail.com. My email is always in the description below of all my videos. And also, I have a coupon code. That way you guys can get hooked up. Here we go. This is the dongle. If you guys don't know, it's a dongle. Make sure you guys do check my last video out. I really like this device because it does this whole, it's very smooth and scrolling over and stuff like that. So very good. So some hidden features that you guys might not know. This remote, this is the B2, uh, BT400. Um, it does have a QR code in the back and it gives you some tips and tricks about this remote. Now, I've done this before in the past, but I wanted to do it again with this one just in case you missed the previous one. Buzz TV Smart Remote. If you come here, this will pull up the remote. Current, ver current firmware, the V07, pretty good. Um, backlight, you could turn this on. And next time you use it, it will turn on. Or if you want to turn it off, then it will just turn right off. Um, you do have some setup color keys, and th this will be for these keys right here. Uh, I like it because, for example, I, I'm like, okay, blue is easy for Disney. Let me find the Disney Plus app, and, and I don't have it installed. So <laughs> that's that's what I would do. I would find my Disney Plus app and put it in there. Uh, red, let's just say red for, I don't know, YouTube. Um, I just look for YouTube. There it is. And I'm not going to set it up, or then it's there forever. Now, once I do click on it, it's going to now open that up every single time. Now, some of these things that, that are included. Um, oh, Buzz TV OTA. This is super important. Click on this right next to me. It says your system's up to date. If there's any updates, this is where it's going to go. Typically, this will update. This will add like, oh, here it is. Here's Disney Plus. It's right there. I didn't see it on the other list. Um, these are some of the apps. There's Netflix, Disney Plus, App Installer, App Toy TV, Buzz TV, all that stuff. It's all there. Now, let's just say you did download an APK and you're like, I lost it. I don't know where to go. So I like to go to APK Pure, and this website's great because I could do anything. Now, if you do did download it, you want to come and, well, I'll show you this on the remote real quick. The remote does have a mouse button. If you click on that, the mouse pops up, and then now you should be able to move it. This mouse is pretty squirrely. Um, it moves fast, so just be uh, mindful on that one. If you come here to the three buttons, come here to Downloads, and... You'll be able, well, I don't want to bookmark it. Um, you see what I mean? It's just a little bit squirrely there. Um, so you just want to come down here and then go back to, there we go, downloads. Um, and there's my IDA64. Anything that you downloaded, it's going to be right here. Now, I'm going to hit the home button. And I am, well, I have to hit the mouse button to exit. And then I got to hit the home button to get out maybe. Yeah, so I got to hit the mouse button, then hit the home button, and now it kicks me out. See, so it's, it's a little little quirky, little, just a little different on, on some of that stuff. If you go to App Installer, and it's going to scan any files that you have. Now, these are just the files to download the apps. You don't need the files once it's already downloaded. So as you can see, IDA64, I click on it, and it'll start installing it. I already have IDA64. If I don't want that file, if I'm like, I don't need that file because it's just taking up space just go right back to that mouse come right back up to those three dots again and go into your downloads folder and then delete it just come here to the three dots again and yeah delete it once you delete it it's gonna it's gonna say okay cool we're good to go we're gonna go ahead and hit the back button just to get out of here, and let's hit that home button to come back here. And then if you go right back to App Installer and scan again, notice there's no files there anymore, which is fine because you don't, again, you don't need the file, but IDA64 is here and it works. Um, okay, settings. If you guys come here to settings, this is another really important one. Um, you can come here to Buzz Utilities. These are some some features that some people don't know about. Um, you could do System Update here, the Buzz Screen, Home Screen, Buzz TV Modern. It's got Classic, all that stuff. This Home Screen Launcher is modern, but you could switch it over to some of the other ones, which is great. 
I always recommend people who are who just want simple. They just want the apps big and there. You could just come here, add it, or subtract it. If you don't, if you don't want something, just that's where you're gonna want it. Um, and then to get the settings, just keep scrolling to the right, and then you'll find your your settings there. So here's Buzz TV Utilities home screen, but that one's a good one for people who just want some big just big buttons for the apps and that are just very very simple to use so yeah i wanted to wanted just to be really really short and easy on this one um didn't want to go too deep into it just to give you some of the basic settings just some of the basic stuff of what this device does this device is killer you just once you set it up you're good you can just take this thing anywhere so let me know what you guys think in the comment section below if there's anything specific that you want to see with these videos on the buzz tv products let me know as always you guys take care take care of each other and i'll see you guys in the next one